So, a fully playable first stage tutorial section, which is basically the demo of the game, is now complete. Uh, let me give you an update on everything that's been going on. As I mentioned before, my target release date for Virus 3D is June of this year. Not entirely sure if it's going to be the beginning or the middle of June. Um, the final key art is now completed, which now allowed me to create the preliminary opening cutscene. So the last piece of preliminary key art has also allowed me to create a new main menu for the game. And by the way, before anyone else further asks, yes, this was inspired, more than inspired, by Ghost in the Shell that was deliberate. Um, I added further controller support. So by default, it supports an Xbox controller. But I've also been able to add support for a PS4 controller. A PS5 controller should also work since it's based on sort of the same schema. It works on an 8-bit Do controller and also a Nintendo Switch controller. I have added um, a config menu just allows you to set the max FPS and also to enable or disable VSync. Playing it at 60 FPS on VSync is the intended way. So this is meant to be the preliminary opening cutscene to the game. Right now, it's just still images. I'm using this placeholder image just to conceal the actual images of the cutscene, just not to spoil anything. I've added something really cool that I took some inspiration from Celeste. There's an assist mode. So if at any time you find the game a little bit too difficult or you just want to play it in your own very specific way. Maybe you just want to uh, have infinite ammunition. There's also an infinite health option. There's something called an auto revive option as well. It's where you do still take damage, but if you die, you'll just auto revive on the spot. It's turned on by default for the tutorial stage, just so people don't get frustrated from dying in the tutorial stage. I have had two people already just play test this on different hardware. And uh, yeah, they did mention that uh, at times, the game can get a bit difficult, but I do want to make sure that in the tutorial section, you're at least getting a taste of what's to come. So the core game loop of this game is identify the enemies, engage them, shoot them, kill them, and then collect the power-up items that they leave behind. Hell yeah, let's go! And here we are at the end of the stage, and when you cross the Nexus... There you go. There's a link to the Steam page, and uh, please do wishlist the game. I will leave a link in the description below to both the project page and the Steam page, if this is your kind of game. Other bit of news, I have also submitted Virus 3D to the GDWC, which is the Game Development World Championships championships. I'm sure why not. And I have also submitted the game for the Robot Cash Indie Pipeline. Right now, I just have a preliminary still screenshot type of cutscene that will give you more or less the gist of what's going on. But I would like to fully animate and voice act out that entire first cutscene and also the ending cutscene. Now, I'm going to do something that I may end up regretting later, which is I am going to make that tutorial section slash demo available. The reason why I hesitate is that ordinarily, um, a demo is not released until the full game is finally finished. At this point, that demo stage, the first stage tutorial section is complete. I have a template for everything. And so the remaining 15, 20 something other levels I have a clear sense of how they are created. So it shouldn't take that much longer to make it, but the game is technically not complete yet. Right now, I only have a couple of different machines to test this game on. So it would also be a good opportunity to, number one, test it on different hardware, and also to potentially discover any bugs. Rather than leave a link to the build of the playable demo below in the description, I'm going to instead leave a link to the Google form where you can fill out your email and some information. And then I'll email you the link to the build itself. And yes, I mean, you are getting a, a first look in a sense, sort of, of the what you're in store for in the game and the mechanics and how everything works. 
But first and foremost, the purpose of it is for the playtesting and also to gauge your experience somewhat. So once again, I apologize for my now almost three months something absence off of YouTube and social media, but this is where the majority of the attention has been going to. After I release this game, I will return to uh, YouTube and streaming. And also there's an important video that I want to release, but I can't release it yet until this game is released first. And once you see that video, you will understand why. So as always, guys, thank you for your support. Once again, I will leave a link in the description below of the Steam page, the project page, and the Google form that you can fill out if you're interested in getting a first look on how the game looks, how it feels, how it plays, the mechanics. And until the next video, stay tuned and take care.